Hey guys, EBP Man here, and today we're going to take a look at a microphone for karaoke that actually has two functions. One, it serves as a microphone, and the second, it serves as a speaker. Let's go ahead and check it out. Now, uh, karaoke systems um, are aren't really something that's new when it comes from a technology perspective but what you're seeing is more and more the adaptation of karaoke in mobility uh, products like Esmule really change the way we look at karaoke and it allows anyone who's a fan of karaoke to um, enjoy karaoke in their home um, now you could use your standard headset like you see a lot of folks uh, do when they use Esmule or you could use a solution like this so let's take a look at uh, this product this is the Palm KTV and it's a mobile wireless karaoke system and what this is going to do is give you two uh, features uh, one of the things that it does and let's go ahead and open up this box is it allows uh, this area here to serve as a uh, speaker so all your sound is going to be coming out of this area now the interesting thing about that this model is that this separates just like this so if I'd like to use this as a wireless uh, speaker and only as a speaker with no karaoke um, you know, thought in mind because I just wanted to listen to music. That's what all I have to do. Now, uh, as we take a look at this speaker, you'll notice that it has some controls here. So you have some echo control. You also have here uh, mic control. Uh, you also have uh, a little jack here as well as volume, uh, play, uh, and this is your power button here. Um, your charging port and then on the top here you have a slot here that is for a micro SD now this is going to allow you to play stored music as well which also uh, really creates a unique uh, experience when it comes to music and if you do know the words and you don't need to see um, any words on the screen then you can definitely use this um, as a storage device for karaoke songs now over here you can see uh, this is the, sp the the mic itself and you'll notice that it has a jack that jack gets uh, connected here and there isn't really um, any specific way where you're going to assert this uh, re doesn't really matter. No matter how you put this in, when you uh, slide in like this, it's going to connect uh, because it has a standard um, aux jack. And now you're ready to play music. Now in the box, um, I think that there's one more accessory that we'll look at. So yeah, there's a couple more accessories here. Uh, we have a cap, uh, which could be used if you're going to be uh, putting this aside right so you can cap this up just like this and now you have a portable speaker you do have an aux cable here and then what you have is a micro USB charging cable because you can charge it so let's go ahead and power it up uh, I am not in any way uh, a karaoke singer you don't want to hear me singing so what we're going to do is we're going to go over and just look at the uh, speaker capabilities um, the echo capabilities and we'll, we'll, we'll do that using the audio source so we're going to switch audio sources all right, so we went ahead and we switched audio sources uh, so that you can hear um, what uh, comes from the actual speaker mic combo. So I'm going to come off camera, uh, but make sure that I'm close enough to the mic uh, so that you can actually hear what's going on. Let's go ahead and try this. Sound test, one, one, two, one, two three. Three, three. So you can hear that there is an echo, a pretty loud echo. And I guess if you're singing karaoke, you'd want that. That gets a little annoying really fast. At least to me it does. Uh, you have the controls here, and I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to decrease the echo and increase it so you can hear what I hear. Let's go ahead and reduce it. Sound, sound check, check one. one. Let's keep on going down. Sound check, sound check, sound check. One, two, three. So you can hear clearly how the uh, there's no echo. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add now the echo to it. Echo, increasing the volume. And you can start to hear the echo coming there. And now it looks like I hit the maximum echo. Uh, so now you have that echo effect. Um, you do have also mic sensitivity. So this is going to determine how much of the audio that's coming through the sound of the speaker versus your voice is how you're going to blend it in. If you've ever uh, listened to someone um, singing, um, even live, um, I would say, uh, bands, sometimes the person who's singing is overpowering the music and, and all you do is hear the person. And then on the ver reverse, I've been in, in uh, some, some places where the music overpowers the person, you can hardly hear them. So you have this reverb uh, or, or echo, actually is the right way to say it. And then you have the ability to adjust the sensitivity of the mic. So how much is the mic going to pick up as it's coming through uh, the speaker? Let's hear um, how it you know, deals with music playback.
All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get a little closer. I've connected the aux cable. And by the way, this does support Bluetooth. I'm just doing it through the cable today just so I'm gonna see how it sounded. And we're gonna listen to um, just some beats. Let's increase the volume. And what we'll do is we'll increase the volume here. volume a bit. Now, one of the things I will say, at the highest volume I am picking up some distortion. So I'm going to lower it all the way down, and then I'm going to increase it. So can you hear that distortion? So there is some distortion there. Um, I did, you know, some testing with Asmule, and uh, with that type of music, it wasn't um, super apparent. But as you can hear there, there is some distortion at the highest levels. You start getting it. starts coming in at, at, at that level. Let's try something else. Okay, let's bring it up. Oh. With that one, the distortion wasn't that um, apparent. Let's try one more, another one. Let me do two more. Let's try a different one. Alright, right there we're not really hearing any distortion. So it looks like depending on the type of song or, or music that's playing in the background and how it pushes the speaker, you may see some distortion, but overall it's, it's performing pretty good. All right, so for those of you who are interested in the specs, just wanted to show you what uh, we have here. So it does have, um, again, two speakers, three watts, and uh, we pushed it pretty hard, and I think that that's why we saw some of that distortion. Uh, we're also looking at a 2,000 milliamp hour battery, and uh, again, Bluetooth, it's gonna be able to uh, pick up uh, your phone or whatever system you're using uh, to transmit your karaoke. So this concludes my review of the Palm KTV mobile phone wireless karaoke system. If you have any comments or questions, leave in the comment area below. If you liked the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, guys. And as always, don't forget to share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.